Assalamu alaikum grade one and good afternoon. This is your computing class and I'm your ma'am Obama. In today's class, we will be starting with the new unit that is unit number two and the topic is digital literacy. Okay. What does digital literacy mean? Digital mean online. Okay. And literacy mean information. So in this unit, basically, we will be talking about internet life. We'll be talking about online life, let's say online world, the digital world, okay? You have so far covered the topics which are related to, let's say, computer. We have talked about what computer is, how computer is an electronic device, what is electricity, how do computer use electricity, what are the parts of computer, well, then what are input and output devices, what are the devices that help us to enter the data and what are the devices that help us to, uh, that gives us the output, right? We have so far discussed all of these things. So we have covered the topics which were related to the computer. Now, all of you can easily introduce computer to somebody or you can easily identify their parts of computer. In today's class, we will be moving a little forward and we will talk about the digital world. Now, what digital world is basically, digital world mean the online world, the world of internet. You know, all of you know that it is world of internet. All of us are very much dependent on internet. We do search things. We do talk to each other through the internet. We have mobile phones when which we use internet throughout the day. There are a lot of apps which work on internet. We download games, we watch videos, we talk to each other. There are different communicating apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Book, right beside that you can search different things on the internet you can uh, uh, you know find the relevant stuff that you need for your lecture similarly you are using internet for taking your lectures right because we are using this online mode so think if we do not have internet what would be the world how would it look like or uh, think about the previous times when there was no internet so people were so much dependent on themselves or other things for life let's say uh, now is uh, when i um, you know record the lecture or when i download something i can easily share it with somebody through the mail because why because i have internet previous in previous time if it would not be there so i would be uh, you know um, copying it in the usb then i'll be i'll myself take it to the person to whom i want to give it to right? So it would be this uh, waste of time. It would be the uh, waste of energy as well. So but now I can easily send it through the internet and there is no need of time for that, right? It takes only a few minutes to send. So all of these things, all of the wonders which we are um, enjoying today is because of the internet. So now um, before moving forward or talking about the other things, I'm going to show you a small video in which um, through which you will get an idea that how our life has changed after the internet okay so show me a thumbs up if the video is visible to you is it visible okay good computers before and after the internet hmm before the internet i used to use the computer for my office all my documents and everything was inside the computer i could do calculations data entry, research, and a lot of my documents and problems were solved by the computer. And that's where I used to use computer in my office without the internet. And then came the internet with so many facilities. Financial connectivity, entertainment, and work entertainment for sure for the children who could play games and watch videos on it doctors can do research and put up their data and policemen as well get a check on the criminals hmm, i can order food from the internet haha <laughs> yummy food and i can also study online with my friends on the internet hmm. Oh, I can shop on the internet and I can play games on the internet as well. Mm, so many things on the internet. 
Okay, so you have seen the video and the video he talked about a lot of the functions which uh, computer is playing by using internet. Why? Because it's your computing class. So we are focusing more on the uh, use of internet with computers. Okay, now open your book, page number 20. This is your book page number 20 and the topic is digital literacy rainforest. We will be talking about the rainforest. Um, in this unit, you will use the internet to find about the Amazon for rainforest. We will uh, search about the Amazon rainforest and we will also learn how to stay safe and happy when you are using internet. We discussed uh, that how to keep yourself safe uh, while using computer. We discussed that, right? And in that, we talked about all of the good manners, all of the uh, that we should uh, pretend while using computer now you will also learn about how you can keep yourself safe while using internet as well okay so um, then you will also make a poster and then you are also uh, make a poster to show the information that you will be that you found okay now i'm going to sh share the screen with you and through that i'll let you know that let's say how you can search for something how we can use internet for us okay so i'm going to share the screen with you just wait for a moment. And we will side by side revise the previous lectures as well that you have already done so that you get an idea of what we are doing. OK, let's say uh, this is um, I have opened a new tab for that and there I'll be writing what I want to search for. OK, so um, uh, the device that I'll be using to enter data is keyboard and keyboard is an input device that you have already learned. Right. You already know that keyboard is an input device. Got it. OK. No, I'll be searching for something. So here, this is the search bar. You know, this is the cursor. This one, the uh, the small uh, icon that you can see on your screen, the small thing, this is the cursor. When you put it over here, this means that now you can search whatever you want to search for. So I'll be writing over here, Amazon Rainforest, A-M-A-Z-O-M. -A -A you need to write the correct spellings. If you don't, the computer corrects it automatically, but if the, it is very wrong, not even have, um, you know um, similarities then you may get the wrong results okay so amazon rain forest i want to search about it so when i get done i press enter over here now here i have found all of the related information for amazon rainforest what do i do i open a new tab on google then on search bar i write amazon rainforest now i'll click now the, in the all in the all one i have all of the things i have written information i have images videos everything now if i click on images I will get only images of that. OK, so can you see different images of rainforest? They are very good and beautiful. See, this is very. OK, th this looks very good, right? To your eyes, all of the greenery, all of the things. OK, so let's open a one picture from there. We can open any one. Let's say I open this one. OK, so this is the picture that we have opened or you can open some someone else as well. So um, look at this picture or let's look at this. Look at this picture carefully and you are supposed to tell me that what is that you find most interesting in this picture. Look at the picture carefully and then let me know what is it that you find more interesting in this picture. Yes. Yes, Sarah. Oh, wow. Sarah says the shadows which are created in the water of the trees, all of the greenery. Yes, it looks wonderful. Excellent, Sarah. Okay. Yes, Ahmed. What is that you find interesting in this picture? Yes, they looks like dates trees, but I, I'm not sure about it. So you like these trees? Okay. Uh, yes, Ahmad. You like the water and the shadows. Okay, wonderful. So see, uh, you, when, whenever we look at a picture, we there is something which intrigues us, which interests us the most. And you want to see that thing again and again, right? You you uh, you know ignore the other part of the picture and you focus on that. So in this picture, there is something that has interest you the most and everyone has a different thing about it. Okay, now 
that was the way to which I uh, I found it. I searched for um, information. You can use this search page for um, finding about anything, even if you find about a forest, if you uh, want to find something else, something related to your topic, any work related thing, you can search over there, okay? Now, what do you need to do is um, this was the internet uh, that we have. This was the first lecture related to digital literacy that we have done today. We have talked about the internet and we have also seen that uh, how the life, how our life has changed um, by uh, after the internet. Now we can do everything online. You can take online lectures. You can uh, send and receive money online. You can talk to um, each other online. You can um, shop online. Similarly, you can sell online so everything is online now right and all of these wonders all of these things which we are enjoying is because of internet right okay so what is your home assignment for today there are total nine countries uh, different countries which are home to amazon forest this means that there are nine countries which come within the amazon rainforest you are supposed to search search in the same way that i have told you first click on the google or any other whichever the browser you are using and then on the search bar click the nine countries which are home to amazon rainforest search for that and tell me in the next class that what are those countries okay got it Okay, that was all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the lecture. Do share this video with others because it's free learning. See you in tomorrow's class. Inshallah. Take care. Allah Hafiz.